time of year as we work around our pine trees in our yards, it's normal to see a lot of needles that have dropped. Pine trees, even though they're considered an evergreen, will drop their three-year needles through the winter time. And even in the deep southern states, people gather these up and bale them up for pine straw mulch. And you can certainly use them for mulch around your property. It's not a problem at all. The problem that we worry about, though, is if you're looking around your yard and you look at your pine trees and you start noticing that the needles look unhealthy out on the tips of the growth or the ends of the growth. And this tree is a prime example. If you look out on the ends here, we have several things going on. First of all, the new candles are starting to emerge from the tip of the shoot and that contains in it a bundle of needles that will be the new needles for this year. Those will be opening up in a few weeks and they're going to be very vulnerable, especially on this tree. This tree has had some damage done to it. It's been bumped by a lawnmower and had various things go wrong with the trunk and so it's not healthy. Consequently, we're seeing a characteristic cigar band on the needles that's indicative of Dothostroma needle blight. Now, Dothostroma needle blight is a fungus that's very common here in Oklahoma, but it particularly takes hold on takes hold on trees that are in unthrifty conditions, such as a heavily compacted soil or a very wet soil, or if the bark's been damaged in some way. Now, the timing for controlling Dothostroma needle blight is to take care of it as these needles are emerging. So in late March and early April, you'd want to apply a fungicide such as Bordeaux mixture to protect the new foliage because those lesions are there waiting with spores ready to jump on the new needles. So take care of that, but first of all, make sure that you keep your pines in healthy condition in the first place. Last of all, if you need a pine tree or any other tree disease identified, take it to your county extension office. I know in some of the larger cities around Oklahoma, they have master gardeners and they'll be glad to identify it properly for you so you can use the right control. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.